say, bro. Y'all know I had to come through and get an early score. I sent a vibe to, man. First thing first, we got to pay respect to that squad, though. Notification game check. What we lit then? What's popping? All right, fam. All right, ball checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, salute notification game. Hit that like button. Please start. Got a real art right, fam. Salute. Anyway, up first, we got that boy. Don't get wild. Outside of being an artist, a lot of y'all may know Duke Wild for being around that boy Rollo fam, but he's doing his own thing now. He's really going hard pushing his brand and his project. So he's been on the road nonstop. State to state, club to club, you name it, bro. Putting in that real footwork, fam. Now it seems like a combination of all of those things and others caught up with him because he collapsed and was hospitalized. Oh man, y'all good, uh, boy, man. I'm scratched. I just feel like I finna die already. You feel me? I planked out. I uh, just planked out. You feel me? Just feel blanked out. Just out of there. Thought I was dead. I thought I seen the light. Shit. Hell, man. It's gonna be all right, though, dude. We're gonna stay strong. I'm a motherfucking soldier, nigga. Nigga, I'm from Birmingham, nigga. I'm from the hard of the hard, nigga. Fuck it, talking about. I ain't trying to go out like that. Dude, why is it die like that? Dude, why is it die for no reason? Man, what the fuck they do that? I ain't going out like that. I'm sick. Motherfucking people keep fucking with me. Nurse me, and I did a bitch. I clowned on the head. Went wild on crazy part about this, bro. A few hours later, he was right back to doing him, fam. Outside of all that traveling and performing, amongst other things, artists, y'all gotta take care of yourselves, man. So don't get find that balance and take care of yourself, bro. I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Up next, we got that boy 6ix9ine. And we got that boy Charlemagne. Now we all know 6ix9ine was on the Breakfast Club a few days ago, and the interview was interesting, bro. Y'all know I'm gonna keep it all the way 1K, fam. For the most part, it didn't seem like 6ix9ine was dodging any questions, and you could tell from the jump he was gonna go at Charlemagne, dog. He set that tone early. So during the whole interview, it was a tug of war for power between him and Charlemagne. The whole trolling and seeing who could outmaneuver each other was hilarious. Outside of all of that, though, Charlemagne was really trying to get through the 6 9 that all that trolling and test my gangster gonna eventually catch up with you. Uh, 6 9 wasn't trying to hear any of that, fam. Y'all know he think he got life all figured out at 21. And he even stated, this interview will be the most viewed interview in Breakfast Club history. I'm telling you now, this is going to be, like, as guaranteed, this is going to be your, you guys' most watched interview on you. I'm telling you now. Like, I'm just, that's, that's, I, I know it sounds. You think more than Birdman? I don't think it'll be more than Birdman. I mean, the Birdman shit was four years ago. When was that shit? Three years ago? Three like, years this, ago. Two like, years I think ago. it's two years ago? like, mm -hmm. two years ago? Yeah. Like, this is going to be your most watched. Like, Are like, you this, signing the Birdman? This, nah, I'm not. After the video got over a million views in one day, he decided to make the fans go come in L's up on the Charlemagne IG post. Yo, so I'm in DR right now, right? Yesterday I was in New York. I was doing a Breakfast Club interview. That no, I, I was in I was in New York a day and a half ago. The interview released yesterday. I told Charlemagne, I told the Breakfast Club, the whole team, MV and Angeli, I said this is gonna be your most viewed, your most high rated, you know, content on your page. Right now, they got two million in one and twenty-four hours. Two, probably two million plus views. Listen, when I say I'm the hottest nigga, I don't lie, yo. Look at this crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's just an L all around. Like, yo, I don't talk my shit. I'm I, I'm very I'm very humble about my shit. But when you try to play me. Man, go 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 comment L under that nigga shit, man. Fast forward to yesterday, he got back on IG and went at Charlemagne and the Breakfast Club again. He said, "Keep the L's coming on Charlemagne and Breakfast Club. I want to make history tomorrow by them giving themselves donkey of the day. That never happened. They deserve it. I know they don't like me, so it hits home ten times more. 
They tried to break me and it didn't work and backfired. Don't get up that they should be for them. The Birdman interview was 43 years ago. It's been two days and we at four million. Now Charlemagne responded and said, I've given myself don't get up the day several times. Nobody trying to break you. Just don't want your trolling to get you hurt. You get back the energy you put out. Wish you the best, young man. That prayer you received was authentic. Love. The academics in 69 also decided to troll the breakfast club, bro. Also, while he was there, he wasn't only on the fuckery, he also gave back. So salute to that. Now, I'm going to leave y'all with that video. Once y'all get done watching, I need y'all to comment down below. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Be sure to sub to the channel if you haven't. Also, follow your boy on IG and Twitter. Links are in the description. I'm out. Oh, right, ball. Go. E69, man. You're following the ability. Yo, welcome to the Brunch Club, the biggest platform on earth. 50 million subscribers. This is going to be your biggest look ever on earth, man. Listen, we're doing you a favor by bringing you up here. But no, I'm... you're doing yourself a favor. Because to be honest, this is going to be your highest rated video. What right? you talking about? It's going to be your highest rated video. The, the biggest thing that y'all did was four years ago, and it was with the respect my name. To be honest with you, nobody knows y'all but for that. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Yo, first of all, man, fuck, fuck all that. Did you even pass your GED, my name? I did. I did. And I did pass my GED. And for all the haters that think that I was going to go to jail and I could suck my dick because I passed my GED. So say congratulations. Yo, you're so arrogant and everything, man. Listen, all I got to say, man, yo, we're going to have to have a prayer for you, man. Because, like, you've been acting real crazy. Wait, before you pray for me, you know nobody knows you till you said what you, mean? you got left off bad and bougie. Stop it. That shit, right fucking hand, this is bozo. And another bozo. Stop. You ain't playing for me. Man, this, this thing a clown, bro. Bring I'm in DR right now shooting my new music video, GD. I always thought I knew what was the meaning of being poor. Till I got to DR and it showed me and gave me a realization of what being poor really was. No, 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 mira, oye, 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 no, oye, no. Vamos, vamos, Daniel. Daniel. Yo lo vi Yo lo vi Yo lo vi Aquí, a ver. Que Dios me lo cuide mucho. Daniel, mira. Estos niños. Dios me lo cuide a todito. Estos niños son del barrio pobre. No existe pobre. Son muy pobres. Yo, 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 yo.